Namaste yogis. So today we've got a special lesson for you to learn. We're going to talk about focus and being present in the moment. So have you guys ever learned what being in the moment means? You can apply this throughout your whole life. Sometimes at Frying Yogis, we get kids that have maybe had a bad day at school and bring this negative mindset into the lesson. We teach that it's really important to be in the present, to live in the moment, and to focus on what's going on right now. So we got a whole range of fun activities to teach you guys how to stay focused and live in the moment. Being present in the moment means to focus, to concentrate, to be mindful, to try hard and to try your absolute best. Hey yogis, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And turn on those notifications so you know when we're posting new videos. A long time ago in India, there was a man in the jungle getting chased by tigers. He was running and running until he got to the edge of a cliff where he had to make a decision. He saw tigers in front of him and tigers behind him and he didn't know what to do. So he jumped and he didn't know what was going to happen. But he caught onto a vine and he was so lucky that he caught this vine. But then the tigers at the top started scratching at the vine and it became thinner and thinner and thinner. So there were tigers at the top and tigers at the bottom. But then he saw a strawberry. So he looked at the strawberry and it looked so delicious. And he picked the strawberry, took a bite and said, hmm, what a lovely strawberry. So I want you to think about what that story really means. So to begin this lesson, I want you to sit in a really comfortable position and place your hands on your, on your knees. You're gonna close your eyes and we're gonna just focus on our breath. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Big breath in and big breath out. Slowly open your eyes and we're going to add our arms. So big breath in. And then when you breathe out, I want you to imagine that you're pushing the breath down. And big breath in. Look at your hands and big breath out. Push the breath out. Big breath in. And big breath out. Push with your hands one more time. Big breath in. And big breath out. Push with your hands. Now that I've got your attention and we're a little bit more focused, we're going to start off with our sun salutes. We're going to practice our first two sun salutes with our little yogi Rani. Start in mountain pose. Big breath in. Big breath out. Jump out to plank, lower your belly to the floor, push up to snake, downward dog. A few deep breaths here. Jump your feet to your hands, ensuring your bottom is up in the air. Straighten your knees, big breath in and big breath out. I want you to go grab a squishy toy. You've got to keep a squishy toy squeezed between your knees for the whole sun salute. So let's do it together.
about nine poses that we're gonna do. And each pose is gonna teach you how to be present in the moment. When you're doing each pose, I want you to focus on the pose and only the pose. So let's introduce our nine poses. Pose number one. You want to imagine that you're sliding down a wall. Now gaze your focus at your top fingers and try it on the other side as well. Pose number two is bunny hops. You're going to get your squishy toy and squeeze it between your legs. Let's try five. Pose number three is going to be warrior one transitioning into aeroplane pose. Now the transition is really, really important. So you have to stay focused. Let's give it a go. When you're transitioning from warrior one to aeroplane pose, you wanna keep your chest up tall. Your focus and gaze is down and out. Four is rabbit pose. This one's really good for stretching out your neck if you're practicing long handstands. But if you don't know how to do handstands, maybe you should come visit our Flying Yogi Studios. We've got very, very experienced teachers that will teach you how to do amazing, amazing fun things like handstands, cartwheels, walkovers, and so much more. Pose number five is going to be candlestick. Now I want you to grab your squishy toy and you're going to squeeze it between your legs. I want you to focus on your third eye and it's going to help you be present whilst you're doing the pose. Pose number six is going to be a little bit harder. This pose is called Spider-Man Handstand. Now I want you to find a space in your house, either a free wall or a couch. Place your hands on the floor and walk your feet up onto the couch or the wall. If you want to challenge yourself, you can lift one leg off and then swap over to the other side. This really tests your balance. Make sure your focus is between your hands. Now pose number seven is all about balance. This pose is called flower pose. For this pose, you need your squishy toy. Try make your focus point the beanie boo. Hold it for a few counts. Pose number eight is going to be swan pose. This pose begins a little bit like snake pose or cobra, but you're gonna bend your one leg up and use your arm to pull it towards your bottom. Try the other side too and make your focus point or your gaze just in front of you. Last and final pose is gonna be the hardest one of all of them. This is a back bend or a bridge. You're going to get your squishy toy and balance it on your tummy. You have to hold this pose for five whole seconds. is don't drop the beanie boo. We've got four different little activities and you've got to keep up with me. The first activity is pencil jumps. Squeeze the beanie boo between your legs and we're going to do 20. Number two is 10 bunny hops. Activity number three is a 20 second plank. I want you to place the beanie boo on your back and you've got to focus on not dropping it the whole time. Are you ready? Let's go. You can challenge this plank 
by lifting up one leg, testing your balance, and if you want to, you can try the other side. Activity number four is a back bend with the beanie boots squeezed between your legs. Our last little activity to teach you about being in the present and being in the moment are two really special poses. Pose number one is our butterfly pose. We're gonna hold it for 20 whole seconds. I want you to focus just on the pose. Focus on your breathing and letting go of everything. So during these two poses, we're gonna keep our eyes closed the whole time. You're gonna reach your arms forward and drop your head. Close your eyes and keep breathing here for 20 whole counts. Pose number two is candlestick pose. Remember to close your eyes the whole time and focus on your third eye. You can place your hands on your back for support. Keep your eyes closed and keep your deep breaths going. So now to finish off our wonderful lesson, we are going to do a meditation called Breathing in a Square. So I want you to find a comfortable area, lay down, close your eyes and completely sink into the floor. Begin laying on the ground with your eyes closed. Take a deep breath in through your nose for four counts, drawing the first line of your square. One, two, three, four. Now hold your breath for four counts. Don't draw the second line yet. One, two, three, four. Big breath out for four counts, drawing the second line of your square. Two, three, four. Now hold your breath. Two, three, four. Big breath in. Draw your third line. Two, three, four. Hold your breath. Two, three, four. Last big breath out for four. Three, two, one, drawing the last line of your square. Now try this one on your own. Thanks for watching little yogis. I hope you had lots of fun and learned a very, very valuable lesson. If you'd like to join our online Zoom classes or our face-to-face -face classes, please look in the description below. Or if you'd like to follow more of our YouTube videos, please subscribe to our channel.